Hi, my name is Mike Whitmire, and the purpose of this video is to introduce you to our Galileo smartphone adapter. This gadget here is going to enable you to take that smartphone that you're already familiar with, that you already take videos and pictures with, you're going to, you're going to be able to hook it up to your telescope and, and take pictures of what you're looking at through your telescope. Also, we're going to show you how to hook this up so you can navigate what you're looking at up there in the sky in real time by using any number of free apps available to you on the internet. So let's get started. Okay, on your page of how to use your GSPA smartphone adapter, I'm going to walk you through the three control knobs that will enable you to adapt the smartphone to your specific telescope. Okay, knob A, what this is used for is this is what's going to actually fit your uh, SPA to your telescope focuser and or eyepiece. As you can see by turning it left or right, you can open the fitting or you can tighten it. But this is what's going to go around the focuser and or the eyepiece depending on what function you're using the smartphone adapter in. Knob B is this one right here. And what this does is this will enable you to fit your smartphone. So depending on what kind of smartphone you have, you simply put it in here like this and then you tighten knob B to fit whatever specific smartphone you may have. Knob C is this guy back here. And what this does, this enables you to move your cell phone up and down on the cell phone adapter. So by adjusting uh, knob A to fit the focuser, knob B to fit the phone, and knob C to position your phone over the eyepiece for photographic purposes, that's what these three knobs do. Okay, setting up for photography and video use, the first thing you want to do is make sure that your eyepiece is firmly set in your focuser. So put it in there and snug that connecting knob down nice and smooth. Don't over tighten it, just make sure it's nice and sturdy. Okay, the next step you want to do is you want to take your smartphone adapter. This is where knob A comes into play. You simply put it around the eyepiece like this and then you snug it with knob A. So you tighten the smartphone adapter around the eyepiece. Make sure, don't over tighten it, but make sure it's nice and secure so your phone will fit in there um, securely as well. Now that we have the smartphone adapter securely attached to the eyepiece, the next step we want to do is take our smartphone and put it um, on the adapter. Make sure that the screen of your smartphone is facing you. Simply go down here and with knob B, adjust the opening wide enough or narrow to where your smartphone is, is um, securely attached to the smartphone adapter. Don't over tighten it. Okay, now that we've got the SPA attached to the telescope and the smartphone attached to the SPA, now we're going to go to the next step which is aligning your camera lens to the telescope eyepiece. And this is where the fun begins, where you can start imaging. So the first thing you want to do is figure out where the um, camera lens is on your camera. Is it in the middle? Is it on the left? Is it on the right? Where, where is it? Because that has to be centered here on your eyepiece. On this particular phone, it's on the right-hand side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen knob C. I'm going to slide the phone up here and maybe rotate it to the left until I start to see that image come in. So you rotate it back and forth and you, once you see that image come in, then you tighten knob C. Now you may have to adjust the eye relief of the camera and the telescope lens. So if that's necessary, simply loosen knob A and slide the smartphone adapter in or out until you're at the right uh, eye relief. But what you want to do is you want to be able to see the full circle of the image in your smartphone. And that's easy to do, but it's going to take some patience. 
and uh, but once you get there it's worth it in conclusion of the photography video portion of this film it's important that you understand it doesn't matter whether you have a refracting telescope which is what we have here or a reflector telescope or you're uh, putting this on a binocular or even a microscope the uh, attachment process is the same okay this segment is to show you how to use the smartphone adapter for navigation real-time navigation um, this particular portion refers to a refractor telescope so the first thing you want to do is you want to take your knob A and you want to make this opening rather wide then you want to take and you want to place it over the focusing tube like this and then snug it up this is what we're doing here until it's nice and secure on the focusing tube now as you can see I'm re real close to the um, end of the optical tube assembly but that's okay because this is where you want it to be so just snug that up and make sure it's nice and secure just like that okay before you hook uh, your smartphone up to your refracting telescope you want to download any number of free apps of navigation apps that are available on the web uh, for your uh, use uh, we have a listing of them in the instructions and you can choose whichever one you like best but as you can see this is all real time as we move around okay so what you want to do now is you want to take your smartphone and you want to put it in your adapter just like this and tighten it down make sure that the screen is facing you okay now we're ready to go we've got the the uh, free app loaded into the smartphone we have the smartphone set on the refracting telescope and as you know this is the eyepiece you look through so as you move your telescope through the sky you can see that this app will tell you what's up there whether you go up or you go dark or you go down but this is this how cool is that where you can actually know in real time what your telescope is looking at and if you wonder what's up there your app's going to tell you okay as we discussed earlier for photographic purposes the uh, the attachment to the refracting telescope is the same as it would be for the reflecting telescope as it would be for a microscope and a binocular however because a refracting telescope is designed differently than a reflector you're going to have to modify the SPA in a, to accommodate the reflector it's very simple you just simply remove your knob C back here and take off your smartphone holder okay now that you removed your smartphone holder from the adapter you want to take it and you look at the end and you're going to see this brass fitting you want to take this brass fitting and make sure you're using the smooth side of the smartphone adapter and simply put it in here like this and reconnect knob C okay now that we've modified the smartphone adapter for use on a reflector you can see it's a little bit different this side here will go over the focuser of the reflector with your eyepiece coming out here and your smartphone will go in here okay now that we've made our modifications to the uh, smartphone adapter to accommodate the reflector we want to put it on the reflector now hooking or attaching the smartphone adapter to a reflector is done in the same manner that you do your refractor you simply loosen knob A you put it around your focuser and then you tighten it now as you can see here your focusing is going to be done up here so you want to make sure that your uh, holder your smartphone holder is extended as far out on the uh, path as it can go so this will give you plenty of opportunity and plenty of area to focus your telescope okay so now we have the uh, smartphone hooked into the smartphone adapter on a reflector and as you can see you look through your eyepiece here but then the cool thing about this is when you're using your Mars Eye Finder you can you can not only use your finder but you can also see how the 
navigation system works. Look at how it's real time. As I move the telescope, you're seeing the uh, uh, software, the, the app, pick up what the telescope is looking at. This is going to make, especially for the beginners, much more enjoyable time out there in the in, in the uh, evening. So as you can see, you go up, it changes, you come down. I mean, even when I go under the horizon, you can see how the horizon, but this is real time right now, and that's what you're going to get when you hook your smartphone adapter up to your uh, telescopes.